Yo, what's up guys? We are playing chapter 10 of this uh, The Legends of Arcane campaign. Uh, ancient knowledge. Adele and Salomar have found the place where the other power source, source lies, a little island. As they come closer, they can feel a dark presence emanating from the temple of, on the island. Whatever is inside the temple must be very powerful and dangerous. Alright. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Very wise. What mm. I don't think we are in a rush, so we can probably scout. For the light. I'm sorry. Is this series going to be on YouTube? Um, I'm thinking about it, yeah. If it's not gonna be very cringe, my voice acting, then sure, yeah. Well, if I would define it to be cringe, Maybe I'm gonna put it on unlisted and uh, release the link for I know Just you know Very enthusiastic people. Let's put it this way uh, Yeah, there was something here indeed. All right, that's cool Because I don't think like uh, custom campaigns is gonna be ever my main content unless that could I have a very interesting army combination, by the way. I gotta get used to it. So, I have a Paladin, an Archimage, and a guy with Roar. Clock of Flames? Dude, imagine I would actually skip a script camp. Imagine I would skip a script camp and not have Clock of Flames. 10 damage per second. That's a very good DPS. That's a very good DPS. Right. Uh, yeah, again, this co this campaign has lots of references to Warcraft campaign and campaigns like um, Warhammer 40k and Spellforce, in my opinion. The similarities are just all over the place. This reminds me of Warden uh, chasing Illidan, who is getting School of Gul'dan. Or what is it? Eye of Sargeras. And that an orcs, not only us are searching for the source of power. Okay, no, I'm not, I could not dispel that. Um. Damn. And that's an orcs. And that's an orcs. At least I like that I have exactly 12 units. Uh, yes, Arach, thank you for much appreciate. Alright, let's go. The light is with us. Yes, my lord. At once. We shall not fall. More orcs. I like how these orcs were fighting undead this room. In the next room, the orcs are just chilling, you know, occupying the room itself, building some wooden fences for no reason. Sub zoom, ready to continue last night's rage. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say it was rage. A qualified experience. Was a preliminary. Right. For the light. Right. Light curse you. Glass of haste. Yeah, that's for you, I guess. Though, yeah, yeah. She has more DPS than this guy. That's for sure. She likes like free agility, but the value of damage is rather bigger. So, lots on that. What's her other spells? Mark of Chaos. Okay. Just lots of skeletons, I guess. 
Okay, easy clap, easy clap so far, no problemo. I need to find something more powerful. More on that. Oh, Arthas is here. What's up, Arthas? Baron Pirinold. Humans, kill them before the corruption infects them. What? Okay, so I feel like we are looking for an item that will have corruption upon our units, you know what I mean? Something like that. So, so far on that have been, you know, um, on a mission or something like that. They have been trying to prevent us from getting to artifacts that might, like demonic artifacts that might corrupt us. I feel like undeads this time, you know, a kind of um, representing just wise old past men that are uh, trying to accomplish something. Skeleton Lorekeeper. Yeah, like, the theme of undead in this campaign so far has been like this leech dude and this death knight dude, you know, just uh, being wholesome and saying, oh no, you can't have this artifact, it's gonna mess you up. I better remove it, so people like you will not suffer. And then like... Oh, okay, yeah, you can fight me, but you know... The stones contain interesting knowledge that could be useful. Collect three tomes, wow. What a side quest. Lots of consequences. If I collect three tomes of knowledge, the character is gonna be... I don't know. Narcissistic. Too narcissistic about themselves. Day 2 of 17, the custom campaign continues. What do you mean, dude? I'm already on mission 10 it was, right? Or, or 9? Trust. Trust. We are doing it fast. We are doing it really fa rather fast. I can help. Sounds interesting. I'll take care of Alright. Not much space here. You can hold a light one of your freaks. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I gotta preserve this guy's mana. He is rather not having it. Okay. Yeah, not much space, eh? Not much space here. What would you ask of me? It shall be done. As you wish. Do not I know who to fit the tomes, to be honest. I'm fitting it to uh, to blend Greymore, but he, he most likely is Betrayer, so... I don't know, dude. Okay, actually, low-key. Th this guy is very sus. This guy is very sus. And I give him most of my items. Right? I don't know, dude. Very wise. Whatever. For the light. I want to be to make him strong. Do not fear. Strong enemy if that's going to happen. Right. Let's go campaign. Very Let's wise. go, dude. Let's go. We have a gate which we can destroy. The question is, is it a side quest or is it a main door? I feel like it's a side quest because we are following so far this road, but maybe, yeah. I am your servant. Uh, many levers. Okay, okay, this is the first time I actually... <laughs> I'm actually curious. Um, yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay, this is like a divinity original scene. Oh no. Right. Well, I just think that they could have implemented a bit more, more fun scenarios with this, but it's fine. Okay. 
light is with us. Um, yeah, probably that's the lever I needed to use. Maybe to open the door Grand next. A frost beam. Okay, dude. Alright. What's up, Croc? Zoom is at it again. Yeah, at least I'm going to finish the first book. And I'm gonna see if finale is good to start to second. We'll see about that, yeah. Trust him, like you said. Trust you. <laughs> trust. Trust. This is the run. Alright. Oh my god. Oh no. I wasted my holy light. Okay, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. They're aiming this guy, but yeah, they can't damage him too much. I mean, dude, I started to misclick. It was bad. Before playing second, you should uh, play the other first books, so you get a story in a second human book. What? What is the other first books? Wait, what do you mean? Isn't that like first, second and third books and that's it? What do you mean? You mean I should replay the missions with other choices? Or what? I don't understand your... Uh, what do you... What do you apply? First orc book, first undead book. Wait a second. Wait. Is this... Is this like first book of humans, first book of un orcs, first book of undeads, then f second book of humans, second book of undeads, second book of orcs, then third book of humans, third book of orcs, third, third book of undeads? Are you fucking kidding me? There are no third books. Okay, so there are literally six sections, and I'm right now on the first one. There are three faction sections for everything. Is it actually how it works? There is a true story for Kane which is in development. Oh my god. Oh my god. The light is with us. The light is not within us. And not with us, and yeah, it's only darkness. And so, Fjord the creator is making one big from beginning and the end for all three races. Do you want me to explain for you? No, I, I got it. I think I got it, right? I mean, I'm finishing one for humans, then they're gonna be for two other races, then the first book is complete. Then there is a second book. Oh man. By my honor. Very wise. For the light. Right. For the light. Seventy five percent of the entire story is in the second book slow. Um, oh my god. I don't think I need Brilliance or Low 3, by the way. I think this is better. She never runs out of mana and so do my units. How long will it take? That's a very good question. That's a very good question. I have no answer to that. How much damage does it give? Does this command aura work on all the melee units? Perhaps I should have gone for command aura. So basically there are three stories that, uh, from different perspectives. They both have two campaigns. 
So let's six. They go human, orc, and dead. You can play them in any order, but it would be better to do it in the order that we created, which is human, orc, and dead. Human, orc, and dead. We shall not fall. Yeah, that's what I said, right? Right. The light is with us. Why did we start from this shore if we could have started from this one and we would be already in the middle? Such small heads, dude. Literally small heads, small brains. Um. Okay, dude, so. Let's go for the light tree. I don't think it's very necessary, but. I mean, devotion or uh, scales, 1.5. It's fine, I guess. It's like, are you lazy to press holy lights a lot, or you just want, like, you know, and you just want to auto attack on the ground? Why a rune of great healing when I didn't take damage? Okay, this one, this mission is very easy. You are given infernos and doom guards when you're playing elves, and then when you're playing broken humans, you're fighting just grunts and headhunters. Then the one is in development, which is a true story of Arcane is going to combine every book into the true story. It will drop some bits and add new bits. For instance, some groups are renamed and there are new characters. Okay, Croc, serious question. Do you like this campaign? Answer, give me your honest opinion. Hey guys, like Zoom says, everything will be fine. We just trust. Yes. Do not fear. You have to trust. Because if, in, if nev neither of us do trust, very wise. I do enjoy it, but some maps are very sloggy. Yes. Right. Yes. Very wise. I mean, I don't see like so far anything very unique. I don't see anything like, you know, I am here. that is uh, outstanding. Uh, original work of campaign already so far, in my opinion, way better. I don't really feel like any characters. I'm playing this campaign right now. My my biggest interest uh, is Adele is a bitch and I want her to fuck up. That's that's my only purpose, premise of playing it right now. I just want Adele to fuck up big times and be there first to laugh about it. I'm gonna pick all the choices to see her fucking up. That's what I want. I hope she's gonna fuck up big times by the way. <laughs> I really do. That's the most important part. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, too many characters and very kind of like I feel like a story is very bad written on the start. I can I can sense like they're gonna be more plot twists, betrayals, Among Us, Among Us plays. And I'm waiting for them, but as of right now, as of right now, this moment, mm, there is not much. There is not really much. Let's get better as the campaign was made, so you get to see that they are getting better at everything. Alright. Dude, I feed this guy with three books of knowledge. He has 31 agility now. I could also have given him now the gloves, but I don't know. Maybe I should fed it to Adele, to be honest, but I don't know as well. I mean, splitting it also is fine. I'll just speedrun with who's your daddy if game plays Pepega right now. Do not fear. Yes, but like, that's the same question you ask, why don't I leave from roleplay LTF and LTA games that last 3 hours? I don't know, Pride? <laughs> Pride much? 
I mean, like, if, if you guys want me to, like, uh, use cheats and watch the story, skip the story to the good part, I guess I could listen, but I don't know. These models remind me of uh, that hero, how do you call it? Ancient Operation uh, from Dota, Dota 1. It was his model back in the day. We will reveal the map before the end of the mission. You want me to? Remind me. Yeah, just remind me, I can do it. Remind me and I can do it, definitely. I had no part in the initiative. I got no part of the vault. Okay. Yeah, man, like, these scripts are so easy. Like, this... This is nothing. I agree with you that the campaign story is not that good, but the different human factions is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed playing Dwarves because they had those Griffin Riders, so it was a little bit easier for me to beat the map. So I would say like dwarves are tier one, uh, humans are tier two, elves are tier three. Like real time strategy, power wise, as of right now, as of right now. You guys know how to dispel? The, the guy waste, waited so long to dispel. All right. Right, for the light. Dogran! Ha! You humans are too late. The orcs will gain the artifact after I have killed you, of course. How do you know about the artifact? So Adele has, uh, you know, some vision, visions, I guess. Main quest completed, the remains of the past. Yeah, but I wanted to fight the raiders. I have monitored your progress through this temple with great interest. You have shown that you are worthy by making it this far. Welcome, mortals. I am Nazrash. Another demon eye. Salomar, this is the same artifact as the one we saw earlier. We must get it. So you two are the ones who fought against Rahandir. Impressive. Slip aside, creature. I lay claim to this artifact. You are not the first one, but listen to me. Before you make a mistake, humans, let me warn you. Go on, Shade. This artifact, the Demon Eye, is used by the demons to unleash boundless powers. It can, be, it can cause great destruction. Luckily, there aren't many of his artifacts. Actually, three. The one here, the one that Rahandir destroyed, and the third one which has been used in the past. You have heard of the Void, haven't you? The border to the demonic homeland. It was created by using a demon eye. But this power can only be used by a powerful demon lord. Lesser demons and other creatures die before they can accomplish anything with its power. You see, mortals, should you try to use the eye, it will destroy you instead of, instead of your enemies. You would only harm yourself. So telling us we went through all of this for nothing? We should. Why should we believe you, creature? Are you sure there is nothing you forgot to mention, Guardian? What? How? Oh, I see. Alright, I admit there is something else I should tell you. The only other way to use it is to absorb it giving you its demonic knowledge and power, but no mortal is able to survive the process, and even if there was a way, you would either lose, lose your mind or become a minion of the demons. Stupid mindless creature. I already absorbed the power of one artifact and I'm still in control. You have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, I can feel you absorb the power of a shard, a little part of the whole eye. So I don't think you would be able to handle the power of a whole eye. Maybe you could, but I can tell you that you wouldn't be yourself afterwards. As far as I can tell, the shard has already changed you. There is another way, however. Offering you knowledge I have gathered from the demons who tried to retrieve the demon eye. Both your empire and you yourself would benefit greatly from this knowledge. So you want us to take the knowledge of some demons instead of this powerful artifact? 
no way. Yeah, she's such a bitch. She's such a bitch. I want her really to like become a monstrosity. Jaina Dreadlord. Jaina Dreadlord. Just like fuck up big times. I will choose all the options to like uh, get power. So I see the new Lich King. I want to make her a new Lich King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demand the eye. I will have the power, creature. Hand it over. It will become too dangerous. Dangerous for who, dude? You're just guarding the fucking thing, like, for the world? Why do you care? You are daily all the of the empire are filled with demonic corruption, you will be their slave if you try to take this power. And I have no other choice but to take it by force. Charge! Okay, Blan? Yeah, Blan is just a boy, I guess. Um, I don't like this aim on my priests. I would rather prefer you not to. Okay, let's focus fire. They are, very, they are rather very tanky, so... They are rather very tanky. Alright. They can't be it, right? It has to be more more combat. What about the orcs? I wanted to check out this room. But the story just gave me, you know, this fight, so meh. It was bad. Risky choice. Reveal. Before the gate. Adela, don't do this! Wait, that, that's that's entire boss fight? Not not again. As you can see, Salomar, I'm still alive and human. Your own cowardice would have prevented us from using this power. This feeling. It's so wonderful. Last time you absorbed demonic energies, your personality changed dramatically. And that was only a shard. This this thing is compared to the shard too much. Honestly, Salmar, I couldn't care less for what you think. I am in charge now. You won't order me around anymore. Blam, why did you give me the order to attack? This should have not happened. Because he was on my side, Salmar. Unlike you, he trusts me. Impressive, girl. You can already use the power. Your new power. A dreadlord! You have corrupted her mind and made her... Don't be ridiculous, Paladin. I had absolutely nothing to do with this. I was only watching. Lying creature. You will pay for this. I don't think so. Adela, you have proven that you are powerful. You use your potential quite well. But you can use it even more of it. Hmm, sounds good. Tell me more. Why should I trust the word of a dreadlord? I'm not going to tell you things you are not supposed to know yet. My lord wishes to remain unknown. However, you girl will be given the chance to gain power which has never been in the hands of mortal. Enough of this. I won't listen to this blasphemy any longer. How right you are, Paladin. So he shouldn't be bother he shouldn't bother us anymore. Where will we? Oh yes. I will open this gate for you. Behind it you will find the power you seek. Hmm, I like the sound of that. What's the catch? My soul? You will see. Just go now. I will leave. I will leave this place to you. I'm done here. No. All right. Uh, secret chapter: Face of Corruption. Adela leaves Salomar behind to enters the dungeon and enters the dungeon, consuming both the shard and the whole demon eye. Made her wish to prove herself, become an endless desire for power. This new power made her aware that true power can be obtained here, and she will have it, no matter what the cost. Oh, Largo finally decided to keep his part of the deal, so... I'm so glad you arrived here, my dear Adele. I've been waiting for you. 
How do you know my name, Succubus? Who are you? What trickery is this? This is nothing but a trap. Oh, don't worry, my dear. I can give you the power you seek. I'm Rizara, Master Assassin of the Assassin of the Demon Legions. So you're an agent of the demons. I think I will simply kill you and take your power. Oh, so wild. As you might be able to see, girl, I'm not really alive. You can't kill me. A bear imprisoned me here. I'm neither dead nor alive or undead. But I'm sick of being bound to this little... I know, prison. I'm not the property of those idiots who betrayed me. Then do it yourself. I'm not going to waste my time with something unimportant like that. I'm only here for the power you hold. My dear Adela, don't you understand? I've been watching you over since you entered this content continent. I could feel both your potential and I did whatever I could do in this form to make you find this place. I read your mind. I know you better than anyone else. Your family, your friends, your superiors, none of them understand you. They don't know what you feel when you are fighting or what you feel when you are alone in the company of certain men. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound right. What about Blen? Haven't you been fond of him ever since he freed you? I have no idea what you're talking about, creature. Don't lie to yourself, girl. I know you better than anyone else. You and I together we can handle everything. With my help you can defeat the legions and all of your enemies. You know that you can't resist the temptation, the power. Open your mind for me, lovely Adele. Let me teach you, let me show you the true power. True power, yes, enter my mind and show me. Can you remember your childhood, dear Adele? Growing up in a family of warriors and mages, where your tutors told you of your potential, you, your very own family thought of you Whatever. Your tutors can say whatever they want. You are not going to join the war. You would only get yourself killed. Father, I'm not weak. I could become much more powerful. If only... Powerful? Pa! You are nothing but disappointing weakling. Your siblings are true defenders of the empire. You know what? Go. Join for our forces. We will see how long it takes until they have enough of you. And you're crying. I won't stand this weakness of yours any longer. You are not my daughter. They they never understood. My parents, my brothers, my sisters, they all were ignorant to see my potential. They are useless. Not me. They are useless. Indeed, my dear. Find the altar room. We will meet there so I can give you the power you seek. But be careful. I couldn't get rid of it. Of all of the guardians. Myself. What a touching story, man. I'm, I'm literally like... So, she has a boner for all the men she traveled with, and her family... Um, I can help. Yeah, it was a Gopnik family, I guess. I'll okay. Uh, ooh, I can summon a Felguard now, and I have a Master Report. What a useless ultimate, but whatever. Tome of Retraining. Uh, why not? Level, seven levels, right? Seven levels. I'll check it out. Three on this, two on that, two on that. All right. What's the plan? I'll check it out. Nightmares. That's curious. Sounds good. Damn. I can help. I'll check it out. I'll take care of it. I'll check it out. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. I can help. The father has heroic damage type. What happened to the soldiers you had with you, Zoom? Um, good question, actually. I guess they ran away in panic, I don't know. You are smarter than your father, my dear. You have become very powerful, but it's not enough. Some still think you are too weak. 
Adele, we can't allow our forces to make any mistakes. You don't belong here. We lost an important position because of you and placing you under arrest. B but that's not my fault. You want to imprison me because I couldn't hold the line against thousands of demons. As you can see, I'm doing it right now. Tell her, Greymore. Blen, please. You know I can be useful. I proved myself in the fight against the orcs. I'm sorry, Adele, but Garden is right. Harmus, Laring, and Mel Merlin died because of your in incompetence. We can't allow this to happen again. No, no, please, I didn't do anything wrong. That's not fair. I thought of you need every single warrior and mage. We have more powerful allies than you, Adele. We don't need weaklings. Enough of his whining. Man, arrest her. I will take your power to ensure this ne will never happen. I will become so powerful that the Emperor himself will be afraid of me. Good girl. Uh, yeah, 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 that, that's what I'm playing this campaign for. Downfall of Adele. Adele became, becoming a dreadlord, a succubus. Very, very powerful. I guess I'm succeeding in that <laughs> as of right now. Yeah, mana region, yeah, I feel like maybe I even needed only one level in uh, Brilliant Sora. Perhaps. So many items wasted, by the way. Yeah, if I, I, I could, I, I should have foreshadowed that. I should have foreshadowed that. I mean, no, Adela has very good items regardless. I stack her pretty nicely. Seven intelligence, you know, two glass of haste. I feel like she is stacked uh, quite nicely. But like maybe, maybe a little bit better. You know, I don't know. I know what to give. What should I have given her though? Most of the items that were on the Paladin guy and the Dreadlord dude were like melee, melee orientated, you know, so... Can I summon more than one? No. Well, that's sad. Is it linked with Work of Free Lore or just custom campaign? Yeah, it's a custom campaign. It's a completely custom campaign with lots of flashbacks of Arthas getting Frostmourne Illidan getting his Eye of Sargeras, you know. Alright, alright. Some difficulty curve right there. Why do I have scroll of TP, by the way? Um, why do I have scroll of TP? Yeah, I didn't do it smart. I thought I could finish them, but... Apparently, there are... They're quite strong. But yeah, I will do it, don't, don't worry. So it's fancy of worker free, yeah. Your Q does 300 damage to main target and 300 to AoE. Uh, no, it's 200. Because I have it low too. I have low 3 summon, low 2 and low 2. Brilliant Sora. Dude, I know how I know how uh, Nova works, so yeah. I'll check it trust, out. trust. Now I might be not using it like the best way, indeed. <laughs> mortar team. <laughs> She's having nightmares of a mortar team. Yes. Yes. Very scary. Dude, you're so fat, Adele can't fit. Jeez, man. Alright. Well, that was harder than all the fights so far. Until now. Probably that's where people struggled a little bit. No, solely the religion. Alright. I can help. I can help. Yeah, this, my Doom Guard is stronger than I'll take care of it. those other Doom Guards. Nah. 
now versus Garden, I guess. Yeah, my Garden is my boy. Dude, I, I should have given Garden more items. I should have given Garden more items, I think. Feels bad. Feels bad. Remains of the past. Mission complete. Here I am, Lisara. I now understand that you are the only one who really understands how I feel and who I am. Come closer. They're gonna merge, right? Together, my dear, we could accomplish so many things that you would never be able to do on your own. You want my power, don't you? You want me to give you my body? That's ridiculous. No, my lovely Adele. I won't take your body. We will become one. You let me enter your body and gain my power in exchange. You know this is the only right thing to do. I know you better than anyone else. No one but me can give you what you really desire. I offer you both power in my services. There is only one right choice here. Yes, I will free you. Enter my body and give me your power. Alright, new model. How you how are you going to look? Search. Chapter 11 Betrayal General Blan and Lord Harmus arrive near Garden Secret's main base. At the same time, other Imperial generals arrive as well and build their own base bases, along with the dwarves and elves. Here in the outskirts of the Pier of Lore, it will be Imperial against Imperial, ally against ally. Only the side can emerge victorious here. One side can emerge victorious here. The men are in position, General. We are prepared for... They are, pre they are prepared as well, although there is no proof. I have little doubt that we won't have to fight here. Doubts plan? No, but as long as there is no evidence, we can't do anything without risking being called traitors ourselves. Sir, your elite force, the Karskin, have arrived. Also, Jennifer's forces have attacked Garden's soldiers. That's a proof we were waiting for. So, Garden was right after all. We have no other choice now. Let's end with tre treachery once and for all. Is it treachery or treachery? Oh, okay, this mission gonna be big. Alright, 